we almost there yet? Well, another year has come and gone, and as revenue assurance professionals, I think it's appropriate at the beginning of 2011 that we ask the same question that my grandchildren were, were bugging me with this past week. And that question is, as revenue assurance professionals, are we there yet? When you take a look at everything that's happened in the past year, it's certainly a valid question to ask. 2010 saw a large number of major indications of the continued expansion, professionalization, and standardization of the practice of revenue assurance and fraud management in telecoms around the world. First of all, the sheer numbers. Grandpa membership has soared to over 5,000 this year, a major massive climb in numbers and frankly far more members than we ever thought possible. Secondly, and equally important, we saw the certification of hundreds of revenue assurance fraud management and internal auditors as certified practitioners, with many certified as master's level. This year saw some major shifts in the acceptance of GRAPA and the GRAPA version of what a professional revenue assurance practice is all about on many fronts. First of all, more incumbent wireline telcos have begun to align with the GRAPA standards. The number of wireline telcos that are signing up for training and certification is exploding. At the same time, we've seen a huge increase in the participation of cable, data, ISP, and WiMAX carriers, showing that the GRAPA standards and principles are making as much sense to the startups and the heavy innovators as they are to the more conservative wirelines. In the meantime, the traditional major supporters of GRAPA, the small, medium, and large GSM and CDMA carriers, are solidifying their practices, growing their departments, and saying to us, are we there yet? Is this all there is? I'm proud to say that GRAPA has made some significant contributions to the professionalization of revenue assurance. How do I know? Well, the first evidence that I can point to is the fact that there are a lot of members returning with stories of success. The number of promotions that people have gotten after certification and the ever-increasing sizes of managers' budgets for GRAPA-based revenue assurance certified teams is pretty impressive. Even more impressive are the stories of revenue recovery, loss prevention, and scope expansion that are reported by just about everyone who comes to our training events. While these things are definitely impressive, from my perspective at least, it's still not enough. There are several major areas of growth that you can expect to see from your GRAPA team this year, things that our members can look forward to and can participate in to help GRAPA move the mission of professionalization forward. We're going to be dedicating some of our future blogs to provide more detailed information about a lot of these initiatives, but I want to talk about, uh, highlight two major things right now. First of all, based on feedback from members, we're going to be expanding our program in a number of new ways. We've added several teachers, and we're going to be offering more training courses, more certification programs, and we're going to continue to expand the scope of our training to better include the WiMAX, Wi-Fi, ISP, GPRS, LTE, VAXIS 3, NGN, and the other new major technology domains. Look to see us in places like London, Madrid, Punta Cana, Rio de Janeiro, Pakistan, Kuala Lumpur, Sydney, Sharm el Sheikh, Shanghai, Nairobi, and pay especially close attention to our special Grappa Family Values flagship event this year right before Christmas. A two-week certification event will be held at Disney World in Orlando. While the continuation of what we've been doing right so far is great, we are not about to slow down now. There are a lot of things we're planning for 2011, but by far the most significant event of 2011, I believe, for revenue assurance professionals will be the release of the newly developed GRAPA Revenue Assurance Governance Methodology and Framework. This framework represents the end result of over four years of research and development by GRAPA committees, members, and staff around the world, and represents what we believe will prove to be the true turning point in the move to professionalize revenue assurance. The new revenue assurance governance methodology was developed to complement the already existing revenue assurance standards and to provide CFOs, CEOs, RA managers, fraud managers, and all related risk and revenue management pro professionals with a consolidated, comprehensive, and practical methodology for tracking and measuring our activities and for the full integration of revenue assurance into the business as a truly key component of the company's strategic capabilities. 
Initial feedback from CFOs, CEOs, and other executives around the world is pretty much unanimous in their praise for the new revenue assurance governance model as the missing link in their understanding of what revenue assurance is really about. This revenue assurance governance model gives management the tools, the levers, the dials to pull that allow them to really feel like they're in control of revenue assurance, to really understand how it adds value, and to really turn it into a key strategic toolkit that they can use to help forward their telco's progress. While it's clear that the revenue assurance professional has a long way to go, it's our hope and our commitment to see to it that even though the trip is not over, that revenue assurance professionals will have plenty to do as we continue on our journey. Well, I think that's enough for this time. Until next time, this is Rob Madison saying, be safe.